What's up YouTube, it's your old school expert and today I'm here with my boy Yu-Gi-Oh! Force Deck Collector And we are opening a Gold Series Haunted Mine, that's Gold Series 5 All the way back from around 2012 I believe is when this came out So this thing's pretty old um, It's not crazy expensive but uh, these are getting harder to find um, As they get open like what we're going to do tonight So How um, hard are they to find? I mean, you can still find them on eBay. I have this really big butcher knife because that's the knife that Yu-Gi-Oh! First Set Collector grabbed when I asked him to grab me a knife to cut this with, well, so. I grabbed a small one first and I was like, this would look so much sicker. Yeah, we wanted to be intimidating. Yeah, well, Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. So we're really hoping for that Ghost Rare Blue Eyes. Two of them, second get one. Two of them would be even better. But I, I don't know, I've never seen two pulled. I'm not saying it's not possible. I just, I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Um, but it is very possible to not get one at all. Go check out Ruxin's video if you haven't already um, to see what a brutal Gold Series Haunted Mind box can look for. He got three Gorses. Three Gorses. Three of anything would be M bad. MST's a good but one Gors is like the yeah. worst one. Or one of the worst What's ones. What's the second best one besides Rule? Yeah, um, MST is a great one. So is Solemn Judgment. Solemn Judgment. Ghost Rare is around $30. Okay. So that's a pretty valuable so card. You're going to set it up like you're at the, the, at the shop? shop? Yep. 100 bucks a pack. Ooh. Kidding. All right. So let's bust this out. First box. I believe there's just one gold per box, right? Yes. And then, um, or sorry, one ghost per box, but there's multiple golds. Why am I, why am I still using this big ass knife? No, we need your Yeah. We got, we got, we got past the fucking part. I'm gonna grab your right This thing is impossible. It's, it's too much. These are actually kind of hard to open because the the wrapped really tightly. You know, while you do that, I'm gonna kind of rip open the other ones. There we go. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry. I found a I found a way to do it. All right. First box. It's got that like that smell to it of like they still smell this way like the gold series. Yeah. They have that smell to them. I don't know what it is that they use in it. That boxy smell. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like boxes. All right. So I think they're somewhere in the middle, right? They're like, they're not towards the beginning or the end. Let me see. Yeah, so they're in the middle somewhere. You can kind of see them. Yeah. So we'll try to just kind of go with first it. Part, first I'm gonna go through the packs kind of quickly. Let's zoom in a little bit. Because the um, the commons are like pretty much the same in every box or every pack. They don't vary a whole lot, yeah. So Herald of Perfection is the, the ghost. You can see a nice foil or line going through it, the foil there, so. And then a number 39 Utopia and a Karkari Steel Shogun MDL-00X Barreto. Ooh, that's a very short name. Yeah, they should have made that longer. Dark Mimic level one, that's good for GOAT, for a uh, little flip effect stuff. All right, box number two. Um, I think the Herald of Perfection is like a third best card, so that's not too bad. Let's just hope that's not the best card we pull. Yeah. You got two blue ones with no foil scratches or no well, PSA 10 action. That's a, a huge problem with these. That's why a PSA 10 of a, um, of a ghost rare blue eyes would probably sell for a lot of money if it hasn't recently. Do you know what the population report is? I right? don't, but it's gotta be 10 or less. My guess would be like eight, eight to 10. I'm about to find out. Yeah, just cause the foil scratches, always foil scratches. Call of the mummy, Dawn of Harold. See this? It looks like, ooh, ooh, ooh there it is. The oh yeah, you can see it. I can see it right oh, here. Man. That's all right. It's pretty Dude, though. That's beautiful. That's good. That's nice. I mean, it would it would probably get a nine if it were graded. It's got a little edge frame too, so it's. I mean, did you use a dull knife when they're cutting these? They probably did, but um, I'm not gonna grade it. It's just a cool binder card, in my opinion. And then we got a brownick and a call of haunted too, so. Some cool gold rares as well. This is um, highly like zombie themed because I think it's like haunted mine. So haunted zombie, I don't know, undead. I think that's kind of what they were going with. But they reprinted, when this set came out, it actually was really unpopular and these boxes were really cheap. You could get them really, really easily, which is, I think the only reason these are expensive is because now is because the blue eyes and because they have ghost rares, which makes them kind of unique. Whereas like the, the other ones don't, because you can still get Gold Series 3 for cheap. Yeah. And that was not a very popular one either, so. But this sat on pyramid, shelves for a long time. Pyramid also. 
That's those are expensive now though. Are they now? Yeah, because it had black luster soldier as soon as it came off the band list. That's a cool mat. And the mats, and it had morphing jar. And morphing jar back then only had a like one reprint other than the original and the super rare. Okay. Blue eyes. German. German. We have Gores. Gores is at five. Blue eyes at sixteen. Oh wow! I'm surprised it's over ten. All right, next pack. Guess we got many, Don's Zalu. Guess how many nines? How many nines? Really? Yeah, that's a lot. And we have a Naturia of Barky on. So that's probably the worst. Yeah, that's the worst. And of course, this is the one without a foil scratch. And all the perfectionists, three of them. This thing's like perfectly minty. That's so. That's so terrible. Dark hole, and then um, the burrito again. Can there have too many dark holes? There's thirteen Naturias. Yeah, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna grade it. It's not really worth it, especially now with their price hikes. They're charging twenty bucks a card on bulk, right? Yeah, somebody actually graded the dark hole that one. That's funny. That's one ten. Yeah. Any nines or anything else? No, just, uh, uh, number thirty nine. People are actually grading these cards. Do people grade anything? They'll take I'm a shit and grade it. PSA, I know. That's exactly, and that's why it's taking so long to get anything back because people. No offense to anyone out there grading, you know, junk. silly stuff. But yeah, people are grading junk just to get a 10 and try to make a profit. Blue right. No, this one has a blue eyes. Yeah? 100%. Don't salute. Bone Crusher. I would actually like a... Space oh, it is. Yep. Yep. Call and it. there's foil scratches this way. I can't see. Yeah, I can yeah see. they're... Horizontal. The only good one is this one. So, Master Hyperion, that's kind of a cool gold, and then Graffa. So, yeah, the, I think the, the commons were the reason this set didn't do very well, because uh, prior to this, a lot of gold series didn't have commons anyways, and then this one had, like, they reprinted just dumb commons, like, stuff that wasn't popular, there was no reason to reprint it. It just went along with their Haunted Mind theme, you know, the zombies and stuff. But um, yeah, I was really surprised that when this set came out, I was not impressed. But these days, it's it's a lot harder to find. MST is nine, nine tens. Seven, nine tens. Nines. Yeah, this would probably be a nine. Well, I don't oh, see anything else wrong with it. They're actually grading the rare. The, <laughs> the commons. Just to complete the set, I guess. I don't know. That's weird to me. Can you imagine being the only person that has a completed goal? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be the coolest person. On this yeah. Uh, yeah. Last pack, guys. Gold Series 5. Haunted Mine. Yeah, they're super fat. All right, let's go from the back. Let's see. Can we see it from... Yeah, we can see the difference. I think it starts right there. Yeah, these are all commons, so we'll just set these aside. This is a gold. It's not a ghost. Ghost is first. So we got a gold... Um, Cephalon, the ultimate time lord. <clears throat> All right, cool. And oh, formula synchro. That's actually a good you should just money it card. Top and put it down just in case you don't scratch yeah, it. Yeah, that'd be the best way to do that's it. That's the gores right there. The gores, yeah, that's the gores. Hey, I mean, you haven't gotten one yet, so that's good. Yeah, no, no, it's a cool card. I would like to pull one, I just didn't want to pull three. All right, and it is. Ooh, Ooh solemn one. judgment. Yeah. That's a really good one. That's oh, a good box. what's that? MSC. Yeah, it looks like there's a little <clears throat> oh, yeah. something there. Yeah, a little, <laughs> a little splooge. <laughs> Someone at the factory was having a good day, <laughs> or a bad day, whatever, <laughs> however you want to look at it. But that's cool. I mean, it's a solemn it's judgment. A box, this is a great box, despite them having scratches and stuff and not really being gradable. This was a really awesome box. So here's the recap of the important stuff. We got pretty much all the best pulls. I mean, Naturia Barkeon is, if this was a Gores, this would be a perfect box, I think, of one of each of the good stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, I know I haven't been posting much. This stuff is so expensive these days, and I have a life. So um, hope you all enjoyed the video. And as always, stay tuned for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Bye!